So let's take these, uh, this information and see what it means for our benchmark that we ended up with last time. Um, we have combined for that's parameterized over multiplication or addition, and it's parameterized over integers versus floating point numbers. If we look at the machine code in the case of floating point multiply, it looks like this. We have just a single multiplication, um, and we said that multiplication takes, uh, let's see, five steps for floating point numbers. And so if we uh, run this program, that makes sense. What we got when we benchmarked it was that it took five cycles per second for every, um, um, for every element on average. Right? Uh, we got similar good results for floating point plus and times, only three cycles each, which matches uh, the expected number of cycles for each addition or multiplication. Um, our addition is uh, not all the way down to one, which would be expected based on the fact that addition takes one. That's because there's some overhead in the loop where we have other additions and comparisons. Uh, then again, that begs the question of how did we get to the good performance? Uh, get the maximum performance on double precision plus and times when we also have to do a little bit integer arithmetic. Right? And the answer is that that uh, floating point plus and times is overlapped uh, using different functional units than the, uh, than the integer addition that is the overhead of the loop. Whereas there's a little bit, um, there's a little bit more going on, there's potentially contention, but really it's just that uh, the, the floating the integer plus here in the main loop is so fast that it doesn't completely hide all the things that have to be done to make the loop go. So that seems like good news, and uh, you might wonder why we're still talking about optimization then. But it turns out that um, you know the reason it takes, we've gotten as best as we can, we've gotten as best as we can assuming that each loop iteration has to wait for the previous one to complete. We have overall in this description of the problem, uh, of, the, of the loop, uh, inherently sequential process where we look up one thing, do a multiplication, use that before to do the next multiplication. And that suggests that a way we could improve things is to look at two items at a time. Maybe if we look at two items at a time, then uh, we can uh, allow more parallelism. And so here's our first cut. So we're changing the loop to instead of incrementing by one, it's incrementing by two. So we need to maybe stop a little early and finish up a remaining element. Um, as we unroll the loops, and this is called unrolling, because we had a loop that was uh, iterating by one, and we've sort of squashed, we've unrolled the loop to, to reveal uh, the next iteration in the same loop body. But when we uh, do that kind of unrolling, we have a cleanup pass at the end. The idea is that this limit is way bigger than one or two, so that it pays off to do that. If we make this change, then we do get some improvement. It turns out that we reduce the loop overhead relative to the work to be done in the case of integer addition, but nothing changes for everything else, whether it was 3 and 5. We could see that we haven't made any progress if we look at the dependency structure. So here we have the uh, unrolled loop, where we're looking at two things at a time in the loop, but still, if we're looking at d0, we have to finish the operation on d0 before we can get the argument to the operation with d1, and so on. So we still have this chain of pink boxes, um, and the only way to get through them is to go them one at a time. Uh, if that's the case, why did uh, plus uh, improve? It's because the old picture more precisely looked like this. We're doing plus, but we also have to do lookups from memory, and we also have to increment the loop counter all the way through. Uh, and when we changed it to unroll the loop, we removed some of the blue boxes. And removing half of the blue pluses here, the ones for the loop, uh, for the loop uh, variable, uh, turns out to be you know, something significant compared to the number of you know, boxes, number of operations that we have to do. In contrast, when we have multiplication, uh, these are much faster operations, the plus um, in particular, and so it's, it's just in the shadow of the multiplication, and uh, that's why we didn't see any improvement by removing the occasional blue box.